Guys, I'm going to build a meat pyramid. It's done. Spicy, eggy, one bite. Please remember to click the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family. Hello everyone, this is Dan. I'm in Shanghai, China right now. Today I'm really excited because we are going to have all you can eat shabu shabu. A Momo paradise from Taiwan. Let's go check it out. Let's eat. So we have the spicy tomato soup and the sukiyaki base, soup base here. And this is the sauce for the spicy tomato soup. We have our veggie platter and of course all you can eat. We have corn, lunch meat, carrots, napa and some other greens, tofu also. To the meats. Here you have beef tongue, pork, lamb shoulder, beef belly and beef shoulder to start. Usually they will recommend you get an egg, put this egg into a bowl, beat an egg, get a nice slice of meat, dip it in. You know, it's really quick. It's usually just you know five to seven, ten seconds. And then dip it into the egg, bite into it. Mm. The meat is thin but it's really meaty. And that broth is savory sweet. Just a little bit of that umami flavor. The egg adds an extra eggy and soft layer. Very nice. The meat texture, the juices, and the little soft eggs. Amazing. Nicely marbled beef belly. Very quickly. This time, I think I'm going to try the spicy miso sauce. Mm. Not overly spicy, but there's an after kick to it. And the meat is really tender. Let's try the beef tongue. Let me try the tomato broth. Spicy sauce. Mm. Very nice beef tongue texture. And that this is actually very flavorful. Thinly sliced pork. Shabu shabu broth goes very well with the egg. Mm. So soft and tender. Let's try the lamb. They actually have little of these soft bone in them. So it's gonna be crunchy and tender at the same time. Now just a few seconds. Mm. A slight hint of that lamb flavor, but then mostly you're tasting that soft, slightly crunchy texture. You know, a lot of times people are afraid of the lamb gamey taste. So this, this doesn't have that much of that. Now let's try with the spicy tomato broth. Mm. Very nice. Oh, they also have special side dishes, cold mixed clams with cucumber. Nice, crunchy, refreshing. Oh, little spicy, a kick to it. Let's put some of these hot pots, tofu skin, type of yam, some bamboo. See you tomorrow. Hot pot must have. Doesn't matter what hot pot we are eating. Wood ear mushroom, fish tofu, corn, the imitation crab meat, and this lucky pocket. Fish ball, vegetable, a bunch of napa. Okay, let's put it in there. Tofu, big nice hot pot. Let it cook a little bit and then we'll continue our meat quest. Okay, let's try this tofu skin that's been cooked in that special spicy tomato soup. Looking really flavorful. Mm. Soft but still a little chewy. That soybean flavor combined with that tomato soup, very nice. See you tomorrow. Crunchy, mushroomy. Wow. Mm. Little bit like special lamb flavor. Little crunchy with that soft bone. Let's try a fish tofu.
little that fishy taste, really bouncy. All right, gotta go in for more meat. You know, I'm not that patient, so I'm gonna put a bunch of beef tongue in there and eat all at once. Wow. Okay, okay, it's very quick. It's ready. It's ready. Mmm. Supercharged with a little egg. Mmm. Bamboo. Crunchy, a little earthy, and that fresh bamboo taste with the savory sweet sauce. Very nice. Lucky pocket. There's something inside. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, wow! It's packed with that fish eggs. Crunchy, soft, a little bouncy on the outside. It's a complex sensation. So many texture in there. It's very flavorful. Fish ball, and it feels like it has something inside too. Oh, the fish eggs just pop when you bite into it. Wow, nice fishy taste with that savory umami fish eggs. Okay. You soak up all that savory sweet sukiyaki sauce. Very nice. Let's go in. Wow, look at that. Wow, little dip. Mm. I mean, in me heaven, so happy and satisfied now. You know, if you can eat five slices at once, why would you eat one? Mm. You know the beef shoulder? Usually it's the part that's a little tough, but it's perfect for hot power sukiyaki. You slice it very thin, and that toughness actually turns into that slightly meaty chewiness. I actually really like it. Now it's the painful moment, you have to wait for it to boil. Wow, one plate at once, and one bite at once. Exercise my jaw. Positioned it nicely. Mm. Me, heaven. Let's try this uh, small hot dog, it's very popular in China. Tastes just like a hot dog. Guys, I'm going to build a meat pyramid. Spicy tomato. Finish strong with beef tongue. Okay. It's done. Wow, that meat pyramid. Look at this, guys. I feel happy just looking at it. Last bite of my meat pyramid. Spicy, eggy, one bite. That was extremely satisfying. Guys, dessert time now. Yeah. Mocha ice cream, vanilla ice cream, cream filet, strawberry milky custard. Mocha ice cream first. Nice mocha flavor. It's not extremely creamy. Not bad. Refreshing, not very sweet. Strawberry jam on top, milky and creamy. Mm. Now the cream brulee. The top has been fur and torched. And I see the top. Creamy and eggy, and with that torch sugar coating on top, pretty nice. This is number one. I ate 24 plates of meat here. Maybe I should order six more to make it 30, but I will save it for next time. And if you like my video, please remember to click the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. In terms of the meat, I think they're pretty good quality. Uh, for the soup base, the sukiyaki, very standard. You know, it's good. Not over the top. Spicy tomato soup base is more unique. That's actually, I really like that one. And in terms of meat, I think number one, I have to give it to beef tongue. I mean that bouncy, tender, meaty beef tongue. Very nice. The second one, I will give it to the beef shoulder. The normally tough if you cook it as a steak, but when you thinly slice it, that slight marbling and just 
quickly cooked in that soup. Wow, so flavorful. Just the right amount of that chewiness, the meat texture, and then just melt in your mouth afterwards. Very, very nice. And for dessert, cream brulee is number one. But of course, how can I say no to a nice, refreshing mocha ice cream? So, there you have you guys.